What's going on guys? Fish in the Odds here. Today we're doing about a three to four hour float. It's in the afternoon right now. It's about 12 o'clock and we don't have a lot of time. We're doing a little Christmas train for the kids later today. So we just want to get out and see if we can't catch a steelhead. Got the whole family with me, my daughter, my son, uh, and my woman. So we're just gonna hopefully go out and play with a fish or two. So hit that subscribe button. Should be a good day. Um, this is the reality of steelhead fishing. When you got a family, it's, it's hard to find time you know, a lot of you guys think I'm fishing 500 days a week, but really I fish one day a week. That's pretty much what I get. So we're going to go out there. We're going to make it happen. Um, have fun doing it. Just kind of show the reality of steelhead fishing and tug us a drug, baby. Just being out in the water is a good day for me. So let's make it happen. Um, if you guys want to get 15% off steel gear, use code odds15. Stay tuned, guys. go just loaded her up got the new steelhead bag in there new addicted bag and strike her on let's go fishing all right folks so we just got to the first hole just got on the river uh, fishing a maxi jig right now on a nova tackle float so basically I'm just running the half ounce Nova Tackle float, followed by a little three-way swivel, Poochie, a three-eighths ounce tungsten, and an eighth ounce maxi jig. So in this first hole, we're in a back eddy, hard to anchor, and I don't have a front anchor, but we are running a jig. We only got 10 minutes to fish today, so no front. But I'm just kind of covering close to far, okay? Um, after I do that with my jig, um, I will tip it with a little coon shrimp, and then I'll get a few casts in that way. Once I get done with that, I'll run a bead through there. And then, that's kind of how I'm going to fish all these holes, and we'll get down the river. Alright folks, getting out of the first hole, gonna go down to the second. We ran maxi jigs, two different colors of beads in there uh, with a little bit of the millennial coon shrimp. So just kind of bead fishing and jig fishing today. Um, don't have time for a whole lot else like I said, but we do have a little bit of bait right here. That's all we got today, but should do the trick if we can find some steelhead. For now, we're gonna go down this little bit of white water we got here, and then hopefully there's a there's a little bucket down there that sometimes steelheads sit in. So maybe there's one sitting here. Let's go check it out. Daddy, what does that sign? Getting down to the bucket, guys. Getting down to the bucket. Is this fun, guys? Whee! there and a little bit further than that this is a tougher one to fish go ahead babe far side perfect it's right where you want to be now lift your rod tip up yep Keep that little belly, that's perfect. If that thing goes down for any reason, it's probably a fish. Mommy. 
Very likely a fish. You gotta reel as fast as you can and lift. Monster. You want fishy? All right, folks. So, the jig color kind of matters, right? So, I'm running a Nightmare Maxi jig, and they're not biting. I think there's a couple fish around. I don't think it's loaded by any means, based on the time of the year. But, I'm gonna run a pinker color. We have five feet of visibility. It's that steel egg green, right? So I'm just kind of gonna pick a different color. I'm missing the blue on the heads on those ones, but I'm still gonna run that one. I've caught so many fish on that color. Let's see. How many uh, minutes left until the choo-choo train? I might run, actually. I might run. Maybe I'll run that color. It's got a little flash on it. My fear. No, I'm not going to run that color either. <laughs> what I'm going to do, I'm going to get back in here, find my jig box. You want gloves? Hold on. Maxi jig, and hopefully with this color and the visibility in the water, this pink does the trick. Let's get rigged up, and then I'll see you guys back out there. I'll tip this with a millennial coot trim. Call it a day. All right, pink, pink and blue maxi jig, eighth ounce. Let's get it out there. There's got to be a steelhead floating around here. Are you are you eating cheese? Um, floating down, my friends. Nothing thus far. Uh, changing colors of jigs and beads and things like that, but but we can't seem to get anything to bite. Probably because they're not here yet. But maybe they will be somewhere along this float. So I'm not gonna give up. I got another two hours of fish. Let's make it happen. I like to open this jar. Rip that tail off. Just like so. And then, oh, I'm gonna take the shrimp, just run it through. Just like so. Now we got a little bit of shrimp 
on a maxi jig. If you look at this hole, look how beautiful that hole looks, guys. Look how beautiful this hole looks. I'm gonna run a jig through there first, and then after that, I'm gonna run a bead through there. But this jig's got some shrimp on it, some fresh shrimp. Let's see what happens. Early steelhead bait. So I found bottom. So right there, I'm on bottom. So what I want to do next cast? There's. Okay, now it came up off of bottom right there. It's a little bucket. So, I'm gonna go ahead and lower the jig just a little bit. That was getting the bottom right there. Just go about five inches. Cause I know I'm right about there. Just go a smidge closer to us this time. Don't wanna fish the same exact spot every single time. Right there on that inside. How's there not a fish right there? We had a big rain. So I'm gonna reel this in, guys. I'm gonna get out the striker rod and I'm gonna fish a bead through there. Because you never know if they're just not biting because I have a jig on. So you wanna, you wanna fish everything you got in, in all these holes, see what happens here. All right guys, so just got out the striker rod. Just bought this thing, man. I'm excited about it. This is the 9.9, nine, um, eight to 14 pound. And I'm gonna get a different reel on it right now. I have this Cascading Speed Demon, but I don't like the red with the blue, so I'm gonna get a different reel for this thing. Anyways, so this particular hole, I'm going to run, we got a lot of color in the water. I'm going to run a 16 mil elevated fishing bead. Um, this is like an orangish color. Um, I think that looks really good in this visibility today. Put that thing in the water, it looks pretty natural. So, I already ran a jig through there. Now we're gonna run a bead through there. I'm running the size two Nova Tackle bead hooks. So, especially when that bead gets a little bigger, or sorry, I'm running the size one Nova Tackle bead hooks. Especially when that bead gets a little bit bigger. <laughs> Especially when that bead gets a little bit bigger, you want to upsize the hook. Uh, Hold it. Swimming. There you go. Open. Now fling it back. Come back. No, not that way. Go over your right shoulder. This way. Like this. Okay, ready? Cast. Oh, yeah! Look at that! That's exactly how you do it. Now you're bobber fishing. Good job, Charlie. Yep, and you keep the bail open like that as the bobber floats down. Now when you want to reel in, close the bail. Close it. Now start reeling. There you go. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. We definitely have not caught a fish today. Yeah, we got one white fish. We oh. took two steelhead and lost them, but I think they were both old summers. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Hi. Hi kids, how are you? There was there was some Are you having fun? No. No? <laughs> well at least, at least you're being truthful, right? No, well I know. No, I love seeing you on video. You're always catching fish. No, no. You catch more fish than <laughs> I do. I'm jealous. Say thank you. You are a fish slayer. <laughs> she, I, when, now when she's all shy. Started, I used to always comment on your post about uh, getting sponsored by Coors yeah. Light. Oh, f yeah. I mean, heck yeah. <laughs> we got we got banquets in the boat today. 
rain, oh. rain water. Oh, you gotta have that rain here, baby. <laughs> yeah, no, the water looks good. But I thought there'd be more fish around. Honestly, I did too. Yeah. We had a couple questionable, bob, questionable bobber downs, but yeah. I'd be lying if I said they were steelhead. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah, thanks for watching, man. Of course, all the time. I'll be floating down with you here in a minute. Yep. Yeah, about, about time to go home and call it a day. Yeah, we're going to go to the Polar Express tonight. Got the Christmas train tonight. Are you cool? Is it? The, kid, the kids will love it. Good. Oh, shit. <laughs> I sat on the beer. <laughs> Look at that. I cut a giant hole in that. It's all gone. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Never mind. I get to meet a superhero. We were at we were at Fisherman's Can the I other shake day. Your hand? You're a U you're a YouTube superstar. <laughs> She's so shy. We were at Fisherman's the other day and the fire department was in there. This fireman comes up to her, she goes, You must be Charlie. She's like, How do you know my name? I was like, That's awesome, dude. What are you doing? What, mommy? Did you have fun fishing? Did you have fun fishing? What, mommy? I see you can reach. Did you have fun fishing? No. Did you have fun fishing? Yeah. Did you have fun fishing? Yeah. Good. I was marshmallow. All right, folks. So that's gonna conclude the float, man. That's that's the reality of steelhead fishing. Not land a fish, we did not even hook a fish. And this is like early seal, like it's December 15th, right? We had a big green, the water came down, we had four or five feet of visibility, it was perfect. But the reality is the fish ain't here yet. We got another couple of weeks before they show up. But I met a lot of good people on the river today, and it's it's been a good time, a good experience. The kids had a good time floating the river, so that's kind of all that matters. But uh, I'm gonna tie this wrap down right now and we're gonna sign out. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. There's some uh, cool stuff in the video for you guys. Um, unfortunately, we just don't have to fish for it. But, tight lines. See you on the next one.